previously on The Bachelor. Hopefully I'll find someone that I can fall in love with. I want to fall in love. I don't want him out of my life. We weren't meant for each other. You have my heart. I never want this fairy tale to end. I just want to live in this moment forever. I don't regret anything. The love that I have for you will last a lifetime. Will love be found again? As a brand new bachelor, I'm looking for a woman that I can share everything with and make her as happy as she makes me. Someone that I'm head over heels in love with prepares to meet his destiny. I'm very old-fashioned in relationships and how they should start. The man should approach the woman. No girl is sitting there at home going, oh, God, I hope a guy doesn't sweep me off my feet. No girl. It's actually been quite a while since I've been on a date, so could be a bit rusty. What's up, lady? Everybody. Sparks will fly. You put me out there as this terrible person. I just got stuck in the middle of two people fighting. Stop it, actually, because yeah, this is true. Up. Oh, my God. Um, that was a bit of a shock. Look at you. I need it. I think it was game on then. Some hearts will break. You've got to make an impression. If you don't, you may be going home. We've only had a short amount of time, and I don't feel as though it's been enough. He couldn't like me and like her. We're just the complete opposite. Yeah, OK. What's the matter? Some hearts will soar. Wow, that's amazing. But will love conquer all? I've never been taken on a date like this. The moment you walked around the corner, I thought you are incredibly beautiful. He seems like a great guy, like I love what I'm seeing. This could be the night that I find the love of my life. He was a great surprise. He was exactly what I was hoping he would be. I certainly felt some fireworks. I can't believe what an incredible woman you are. I'm completely speechless. I don't even know what to say to you right now. You know, I just want you to know that I have fallen in love with you. Welcome to the new season of The Bachelor. This magnificent harbour front mansion may be quiet right now, but in just a few moments, the limousines will begin to arrive. The champagne will start to flow, and one man and 19 beautiful women will begin the adventure of a lifetime. A journey that we hope will end with our bachelor finding love with the woman of his dreams. Right now, the ladies are on their way. But before they get here, let's meet Australia's newest bachelor. My name's Sam. I'm 34 years old. I was born in Tassie and I live in Melbourne. This is the biggest adventure I've ever embarked on, but I'm totally up for the challenge. I wouldn't be here if I didn't genuinely feel that I could fall in love and find the one. I'm definitely at a point in my life where I'm ready. I've been probably playing it a bit safe up until now, and look where that's got me. I've been in love before. Being in love's an amazing feeling. When you know, you just know. All rhyme and reason goes out of your head. And that's a great feeling, to be out of control in that way. I don't know if you can prepare yourself for something like this. I've just come into this with an open mind, wearing my heart on my sleeve, and I'm going to throw absolutely everything at it. 
Let's go, bring it in, bring it in. I'm the founder and managing director of my company, Gecko Sports. I'm Sam, awesome to meet you. We run sport and fitness programs for primary school kids. We've now got over 35 locations around Australia and the next exciting step is to look at international expansion. Who's gonna win the tug of war? We're going to see about that. My name will be Samantha for the tug of war and I will definitely be joining the girls team. I love my job. I couldn't be an office nine to five guy. Come on girls, let's go off them, they're giving it! Oh, they're fighting back! Come on girls, go! I need to do something that I'm passionate about and I'm really passionate about kids' health and fitness. All right. Yeah. High fives all round. Good work, well done girls. I really want kids and if anything, my job has just shown me how much I want to have a family of my own. I love living in Melbourne, but I'll always be a Tassie boy at heart. I get back to Tassie as often as I can. Okay. My family's down there. Look who's at the door. The big ugly fella. Hello. It's beautiful, it's peaceful and it'll always be home to me. My dad and I have a great relationship. We're more like best friends than father and son. <laughs> well, it's a life-changing exercise, isn't it? How do you feel? <laughs> I'm pumped for it. Mm. Hopefully I can come back with a girlfriend. I've got to turn the chops. My mum passed away when I was 15 years old. I've got a little sister, Hannah, and a little brother, Alex. We're really, really close. I think that just happens when you lose a parent. It brings the whole family closer together. I just want you to be happy, and I guess I do have a picture of the, the perfect girl for you, and yeah, with a bit of luck, she's in there. I'm sure you will make a great success. And here's to Sam, and may we miss you all the best. All the best, Sam. All Cheers, the best. guys. Can't wait to see you. My family in Tassie means everything to me, but I now feel like I'm ready to have my own family and that starts with finding the right girl. Meeting all the girls for the first time is without doubt gonna be a bit daunting, but I'm so curious to get to know them and hopefully there's one that I can fall in love with. I realise this will be the biggest challenge I've had in my life to date, but I just wanna find the love of my life and that's why I'm here. So, Sam is definitely ready to find love. But before he gets here, let's meet just some of the beautiful women who are hoping to capture his heart. My name's Nina, I'm 27. I'm from Brisbane and I'm a wedding planner. Wow, it looks so amazing. I love weddings. I love planning everyone's special day for them. It's beautiful. It really is just beautiful. My entire life is surrounded by love. All of my clients are in love. And sometimes I sit back and just think, what about me? I'm absolutely ready to plan my wedding day and have that special moment for myself. Now's the best time of my life to find that perfect guy to settle down with. And I'm really hoping that The Bachelor's that person. My name is Sarah, I'm 25 years old, I'm from Melbourne and I'm an event manager. Well, I'm basically here because I had a crazy dream about this amazing connection I had with The Bachelor. His personality came across a lot more than his sort of whole package, meaning his face and his legs. <laughs> I am very career focused. I have huge goals, want my own event management business by the time I'm 30. Everything is falling into place with me in terms of, you know, career. The only thing that's missing is, yeah, the relationship. I genuinely want to find love. I'm ready for the next big thing and hopefully the last thing. I'm Sandra. <laughs> I'm 27 years old and uh, I'm a PE teacher. Biggest jelly beans! Go, 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 go! <laughs> I think because I'm extremely loud, <laughs> I find that females find me very intimidating. Ouch! <laughs> but I do want to make sure that The Bachelor does notice me. Oh, yeah. I can't tone it down because toning it down just wouldn't be me. <laughs> I'm Heather, I'm 29 and I'm from New South Wales. 
right, let's go from the top of that page. Okay. Currently, I am working in the film industry. I'm extremely passionate about it. I don't really like the idea of talking about how romantic I am, but in actual fact, bring on the candles and all of the Barry White. Love is hell crazy, scary, awkward, uncomfortable at times. I think for every woman it's important that the guy is thoughtful and caring and romantic and all those things. No girl is sitting there at home going, oh God, I hope a guy doesn't sweep me off my feet. No girl. I'm so ready to be committed to someone and fall in love and do all those amazing things. I hope that I walk down that red carpet, I take one look at Batchy, he takes one look at me and he goes, damn. And I'm like, I know, right? No, no. <laughs> Something tells me we are in for an extraordinary night. And here he is, Australia's newest bachelor. G'day, mate. Good evening, Sam. How are you feeling? A bit nervous? Yeah? Yeah, but good. You've got to be the luckiest guy in Australia, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I guess I am. I guess it's hard to argue with that. How do you even prepare for a night like this? I don't, I don't know if you can. I mean, you've got more experience with this than me, so I mean, you'll be able to, yeah, hopefully you can be my wingman, mate, and help me through it. But yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm excited. You're a very successful man. You've got a successful business, but it's something you'd like to share, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. What's the point in having these successes if you don't have someone special to share it with? I mean, it's the one big thing that's missing in my life. I do want to have a family one day and settle down, and now's definitely the right time. I've just got to find the right person. You work closely with kids. Yeah. What advice do you think they'd have for you? Oh, they all call me Woody, <laughs> like the Toy Story character. <laughs> so they would probably say, you know, go for it, Woody. I reckon, I reckon that's what they would say. Their, their attitude, I think you can learn a lot from kids. And I think if I can take an attitude that a lot of the kids that I work with would have, that's going to hold me in pretty good stead. Are you ready? I am. I, I, I'm as ready as I'm going to be. I'm glad. Yeah. Because the first limousine is pulling up now. OK. Good luck, Sam. Thanks, mate. All the best. Cheers. There's a million thoughts running through my brain. All of my senses are so heightened. And I'm genuinely so excited that this could be the night that I meet the love of my life. Oh my god. Oh my god. My name is Najana, I'm 34 and I'm from Perth. I felt very nervous, I was panicking. My heart was racing 100 miles an hour. Hello. Hello. How <laughs> well, are you? Good. How are you? I'm nervous. Yep. Me too. You too? Welcome. Thank Hi. you. I'm Sam. Mm -hmm. It's Najana. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. pretty known. Thank you. Where's that, where's that from? Macedonian. Yeah, right. Yeah. Can yeah. you say it? Sajada. Oh, very close. Sajada. Very close. Close. How do I spell it? I didn't want to have to do this, but can you... No, can we you, need to get this out of the way. Can, we, can you say Parmigiana? Oh, I can definitely say Parmigiana. Parmigiana? Parmigiana. Parmigiana. There we go, we got it. That's Beautiful. That's the trick that works. Yes. Excited? Very. Yeah. Very. Nervous, very, um, very excited about coming here tonight yep. and meeting you and everything. It was really cute. The smile, the eyes, he was hot. He was good. Easy on the eye. I love Thank the dress. You. That's, yeah. Thank you. It's magnificent. Nice. Absolutely Very magnificent. Nice Thank you. Absolutely stunning. Thank you. Very dapper. Yeah. Thank you. She was incredibly beautiful. Very exotic. Very mysterious. I'll have a chat to you inside yeah. then. We'll Thank get to meet each other properly later on. Thank you. It really did happen so quickly. She came, she was gone, and that makes me think that I've got to hunt her down at the cocktail party and definitely find out more about her. He's fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Oh my God, did I ask him his name? Oh my God, what is his name? <gasps> I 
I'm actually really, really excited to meet The Bachelor. I think it's a long time coming now and I'm so ready. Hello. Hi. Look at that dress. Thank you. Look at that tux. <laughs> That's what I was going for. Oh, How really? You? I'm glad you're not wearing a dress then. Yeah. Sam. Oh, oh double. Yeah. I never yeah. do double. Yeah, That's well, a first. Yeah, yeah, All right, let's have a look at the dress. Give oh, us a little spin. Yes. That is an amazing dress. You like it? Yeah, beautiful. Let me see. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, well. There you go. There you go. What do we oh think? Oh my God. Okay. Like the shoes. Yeah. I yeah, know. Yes. The shoes make it, don't yeah, they? James Bond much? Yeah. yeah. So, whereabouts are you from? I'm from Melbourne. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Me too. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What do you think of this place? Um, oh, you're not so right. It's okay. You're a bit shabby. <laughs> yeah, like it's a little small for my liking. Yeah, I know. I know. I know she yeah. seems smart. She seems confident. And yeah, she looked beautiful. You know, very sort of strong, elegant look. And I really like that. Yeah. Yeah, nice yeah, you too. Yeah, the wait's over. I know. Yeah, I'm glad you're place. you. I'm glad I'm mate, yeah. Hey, right. He seems like a great guy. Like, I love what I'm seeing. You head on through and, uh, yeah, we'll have a drink later. You Thank too, you Sarah. Later. Cheers. I'm kind of speechless. I'm a bit taken away. He's exactly my type of guy. Look out. Hot pink. Ready for the cocktail <laughs> party. I'm Sam. I'm Laura. Nice to meet you. It is finally, isn't it? Can you check out the accent? Do you know where I'm from? England. Yeah, whereabouts? Uh, south. No. That was a guess. <laughs> I've got no uh, idea. Okay. No, no, I'm like Yorkshire. Right. Yeah. And the accent's still strong. Well, I don't know. Like, you could still hear it. <laughs> yes, I can yeah. definitely still hear That's it. That's good. Tell me something else about you. I'm a vet. Oh, yeah. wow. What's your favourite animal, being a vet? Um, yeah, look, I'm a dog... I'm Small animal-wise, I'm a dog person. OK. What about yeah. your funniest animal story? You must have some absolute rippers. Oh, I don't know. Don't hold back. <laughs> okay, I have to do like a really okay. gross thing like every now and then, so anal glands. Right. I don't know if you've got dogs or cats, but yeah, actually, I've got a dog, Hendrix. Okay. Does he have any anal glands doing? No. No, okay. <laughs> well, like I had this dog in once and like the woman came in as well with it and she had two small children. The child was right behind like the backside and I just said, oh look, you probably need to move because you're gonna get covered, like, Ooh. you know. Anyway, the mother sort of dragged the child back round, but then just as I sort of went in and, like, expressed the anal glands, the child had, like, scooted back round and literally just got covered in anal gland. And the smell, <laughs> if you ever smelled it, it's, oh like, my God. actually hideous. Oh. I have verbal diarrhoea, like, I mean, where did that come from? OK. What have we got there? Oh, I'm going to make you something special. <laughs> I'm intrigued. <Do laughs> my I... name's Rachel. What's I'm your name? I'm Sam. Hi, Sam. nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you, Rachel. <laughs> Will you accept this rose? That is amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Not a problem. You've it's definitely really impressed really me really the most so far. I'm glad. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I can already tell that this is going to be a night full of surprises. Merhaba. Sorry? Merhaba. Benim adım Ebru. Oh, OK. Memnun oldum. I'm here to be a Turkish delight. Oh, really? <laughs> I knew that the women would be beautiful. Nina. Nina. How are you? Really good. But I didn't expect them to be so much fun as well. Look at that dress. That's beautiful. Thank you. I feel very cha-cha-cha. Yeah, very. Cha -cha <laughs> I think we should be dancing. I'm Jasmine. Nice Jasmine. to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Give me Love a little it. demo. There we go. Oh, look at the lights. Look at the lights. Oh, chill out. This is ridiculous. Holy oh. crap. OK, I just got a little bit nervous. Just Don't pee in your pants because I ain't cleaning it. I just got the butterflies. <laughs> no, I'm so look. nervous. Look, no, I'm not nervous. I'm not, ner I'm not that nervous. <laughs> I'm not that nervous. <laughs> it's OK. Oh, no. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, OK. This is probably one of the biggest risks I've ever taken. I could end up meeting the love of my life, which would be hectically cool. Oh, God, I'm shaking. Hello. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Look at that dress. Thank you. That is a moving disco ball, isn't it? I know. Wow. Thank Hi, I'm you. Sam. Hi, Sam. I'm Heather. Heather, you look beautiful. Wow, thank Absolutely you. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> you don't exactly look ridiculous nah, yourself. Stop. This, this is so pretty. This is fun, likewise. Oh. Likewise. I'm pretty. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not ruggedly handsome. Um, pretty. No, no pretty. of course yeah. not. No, you're not ruggedly <laughs> handsome at all. Oh, you're so no, unattractive. No, you're thank so you. unattractive. Thank you. Yeah, I know, I know. You I get though. that a lot. I get that a lot. But you're aware of it, right? I am. That you're hideous. I am. I am. Oh, you're good. Yeah, they okay, thought they'd good. shake the bachelor up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Well, seriously, dude, can I call you, dude? Is that weird? 
No, I, I can handle it. You can handle it. I'm dude. okay. I'm, I'm a laid back guy. Good. All right. Because seriously, dude, I came down the driveway and saw this and just went, I know. wow. It's special, isn't it? Wow. I mean, this How is can you not fall in love with that? I know. <laughs> so what are you thinking about this whole thing? To be honest, I, I think before anything else, I want to find someone I can be friends with. Okay. And then if you turn out to be someone that would be a really good friend, yeah. I hope that then you could turn into being a partner. Okay, okay. I just want you to be a mate that I could go have a beer with. Okay, yeah, right. I like that. Right. I, am, I am that guy. You are? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Thanks, Batchy. Really nice meeting no you. No worries. I'm hoping that the chemistry was on both sides. I definitely felt it on my side. Wow, he's so lovely. Okay, keep yourself together. I'm Jacinda, I'm 33 years old, and I'm from Sydney. Say hello, smile, and then lightly vomit in your mouth. I want The Bachelor to think straight away that I'm fun. First impressions, I'm all about them. I'm hoping the first impression is how I picture in my head, but it might not be, because I'm quite clumsy. <laughs> hello. Hello, I'm just trying to concentrate on Right foot, left foot, right You're foot. doing a great job. Yes, and I'm here. How Hi. Are you? I'm Jacinda. Sam Jacinda. Sam. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What, what have we got here? There's this thing that's just sweeping the nation. It's called a selfie, and I think. Never heard of it. You've never. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm going to show you what it's all about. Unfortunately, I don't have it. If you came down with a selfie path. stick, I might have. <laughs> There might have been some judgment, <laughs> but, but old school cute. Polaroid, I love. Don't you think we I should love. take one? Let's take one. Okay, All right. Let's do okay, it. ready? Let's do it. One, two, three. And have you get with. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. oh. Hello. Now you need to just. Oh. Like, oh. You get to keep it. You get to keep it. We can get to know each other and we'll just get this to come out. It could up. be, you know, our first. Our first kiss. <laughs> Yeah, that's special. I know it is. I I'm so it. glad you like I love it. it. I love that you love old school. That's great. What <laughs> else? What else do you love? What do you do? What do you do? Okay, I've got a kids fitness business. Really? Yep. Based in Melbourne. And, okay. Uh, I'm a run... children's entertainer. Okay. Okay, All right. but Tell I also do fitness. I'm training to be an aerobics instructor. Okay. <laughs> Jacinda's incredibly fun and outgoing and outspoken. I definitely think Jacinda, she's going to be the life of the party. Beautiful to meet you. Nice. Wonderful to meet you. You look Thanks. fantastic. Thank you, Sam. Can I take this? Sam, it's yours. Beautiful. Forever. <laughs> so long as you share. Hold on. You got something. Oh. Wait, just stay there oh. for a second. Oh, I'm going to pick of his butt. Oh, you just actually, a little something for me. You've done it twice now. I think I scored a big time, just quietly. Okay, your trouble. I'm going to have See to watch you. Then. Jacinda came in like a hurricane. Massive amounts of energy. She's definitely a wild one. Hi. <laughs> yes, but I got just for all of you girls. Can I call, buddy? I got a picture of the bachelor's butt just for all of us. Selfie with you? Oh, no, wow. no, no, that's butt. his butt. That is a butt. Wow, you actually took a Polaroid of his bum. I was like, what the hell? You know what I wanted? Because you nailed that. I nailed it. You nailed it. Did you, did did you go in stealth? I'm so happy someone thought of doing that. Hopefully, we could get a little bit more maybe without the pants. <laughs> Hashtag batch booty. Yeah. Hashtag batch in the boot. Oh. I'm taking him home, girls. Yeah. Sounded a bit serial killery. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe don't put him in a boot. <laughs> Tonight is without doubt one of the most surreal and exciting experiences of my life. I'm back. Yeah, I'm nice good. to meet you. I've just been blown away by the amazing women that I've met. <laughs> I can around the corner. Joni. Great nice to meet you. you. Wow. I'm Jess, I'm 24, I'm from the Gold Coast. You are this. gorgeous. <laughs> Tess, how are you going? Yes, yeah, Sam. Nice to meet you, Sam. Hi. Nice to meet you. How oh are you going? Oh, God, this is like the most intense blind date of my entire <laughs> life. I feel so privileged that these beautiful women want to get to know me. Nice to meet you, I'm Michelle. Yeah. This is my way of giving you a rose. Oh, how beautiful. I do accept your rose. Thank you. And I'm so impressed by the amount of effort that they've put in. I'm Madeline. I've made you a little cupcake, oh. just in case you're hungry out here. <laughs> oh, there's a case on there. <laughs> All good. Oh, you want a bowl? Um, yeah, why? Come on. Mm. That is amazing. <laughs> Do I have it all over my face now? No, you've done well. It really shows me a glimpse into their personalities. What have we got here? Oh, just some beers. Oh, I, I thought it. you'd be rather parched. Wow. I'm nice Sam. to meet you. I'm Crystal. Cheers. Cheers. 
Very nice, thank you. No that was way, uh, it's very thoughtful of you. Yeah. Although the first meetings are brief, they leave a big impression. I'm Zilda, I'm 31, and I'm from the Gold Coast. I hope the bachelor doesn't get a fright because I'm wearing a white long dress. <laughs> it's not a wedding dress. Yeah, maybe it's just a glimpse into the future. Hello. Hi. God. Hi. I'm great, I'm Sam. I'm Zelda. Zelda. Happy to meet you. So excited for tonight? Pumped. Pumped. Yeah, me too. You? I'm just excited. Yeah. It's a pretty unique experience. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. What are so, you hoping yeah. to get out of it? Love, yeah. obviously. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Zelda, the blonde bombshell, knows what she wants, quite direct. I definitely want cake too. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. definitely. To be pretty straight up in the beginning, it's very important. I'm not here to waste time. I'm here to potentially bag a husband in the end. So far, I'm quite impressed. Yeah, okay, you've got to admit it. Good. <laughs> Taking all the boxes. Hello. Hello, Mr. Bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Oh, la, la. Welcome to the mansion. Look at you. So hot. He's so attractive. Like, woo! Give me a hug. How are you? Oh, goodness. What was your name? Sandra. Sandra. I'm so sorry. I knew Sam. that would happen. No. Sam. Don't, oh, don't be silly. Look at the SNS. Sam and Sandra, we are SNS. That just like completely goes. Like, woo. I uh, work with kids and I'm a PE teacher and I'm always like super energetic. That's so right. This is me. This is you. This is you. <laughs> I also work with kids and I own a kids' fitness company. No way. And I teach PE. <laughs> this there is you go. so There exciting. you go. We're going to have plenty to talk oh about. Oh my gosh. We both have so much in common. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Myself, but I've never felt that way before. Like, could this be it? Could this actually be the love of my life? <laughs> we need a high five or something this. going on. Yeah. What, what uh, year? Woo! Oh, 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 I was going, oh, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. 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 You guys do that, I always do that with my kids. Really good. Sandra, so bubbly, full of life. Probably was struggling to get a bit of a word in with Sandra. I mean, she has so much energy. Fun and energetic and ta -da. I think you are. I think you are. Yeah, looking forward to finding out if she's like that all the time. <laughs> nice to meet you, Sandra. Lovely to meet you, Sam. <laughs> SNS all the way. SNS, that's Woo! right. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> let's get the ball rolling. I want a glass of champagne. Like, let's just, I want a party. I'm ready for this. What's up, ladies? Stories, stories. So we were just saying we were all really nervous when okay. we first met him, right? And Girl, sorry, I don't mean to rock. Can we like cheers it? Yes, yes. <laughs> to me. To the bat. Yeah. Woo! To the bat, yeah. Sandra is very loud. Oh la la, check it out. You, you knew she was there. Woo! Oh my god, wait for it! Oh! I forgot to tell you, we had a handshake thing going on. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited right now. I might have been like. I'm in love. Sandra. Flamboyant, no. Annoying? What? My name's Emily, I'm 31, I'm from Melbourne and I'm an advertising executive. Wow, what an entrance. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Sam. Emily. Nice what was your name? You. Emily. Emily. Oh, how are you going? I'm lucky last. You are lucky last. Save yeah. the best till last, eh? <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. I mean, you look exquisite. Thank you. Okay. So do you. That is a beautiful dress, Emily. You look stunning. Nice you're, and you're tall. Stunning. Uh, you are stunning. Yes, tall. <laughs> tall. That's what you like? That's what I like. Tall, dark and handsome. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Good to know. You nervous? I wasn't. Now I am. Now you are. You haven't been nervous at all yeah. until... Until I saw that you were tall, dark and handsome. Special. Let me feel hands. Let me feel. Yeah, a little bit of tremble there. A little bit of tremble there. Emily is an incredibly beautiful woman. I feel there was an immediate connection there. I think we're going to get on great. I hope so. I think we will. I think we, we will, will too. He was a great surprise. He was exactly what I was hoping he would be. I can't wait to get to know you better. All right, lovely meeting you. She just looked amazing. Really, really made an impression. Were you? Yeah, I was the last one. Oh, really? Is there no more girls now? That's it. Oh, the batch is on his way. Woo! Are you guys impressed? Yeah, yeah what is impressed. Yeah, yeah impressed. Yeah. Yeah. Sam is definitely my type. I like the tall, dark, handsome look. 
Yes, definitely. What do we think of the bachelor? Oh my gosh, absolutely. Do you want to swap? You can sit down. Okay. Thank you. It's a bit of a bag. It's hot. Yeah, yeah. It was really strange. Zilda just did a turn as to like just block me and like show me her back. There are a little bit of girls. So it ended up being me just standing there. You can definitely see girls eyeing each other off, looking up and down, sussing out the competition. I can definitely see that's already happening. We're judging our competition. So, lady in the white dress, like Miss Pamela Anderson going on over here. She literally went, and I was like, hold on a sec. I think the fact that claws are coming out on day one is an indication that there may be some drama in the house to come. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, Usher's just walked into the room and I'm just like, wow, it's getting real. Good evening, ladies. Welcome to the mansion. Hey. I trust you're all enjoying the cocktail party. Oh, yeah. Tonight, you begin a journey towards love. But to stay on that journey, you'll need one of these. Receiving a rose from The Bachelor means that he wants to get to know you better. So, ladies, make the most out of every moment that you get to spend with Sam tonight. Because after the cocktail party, at the rose ceremony, some of you will be leaving the match. Heavy. However, a red rose isn't all that you want. Because tonight sees the return. of the White Rose. Wow! The Bachelor will give this rose to the lady that makes the best impression upon him tonight. I'm hoping the red carpet, I grab his attention enough with that little bit of a cha-cha. Maybe it could be me that gets it tonight. But this time, White Rose means something very different. So uncomfortable. <laughs> Not coping. Whoever receives this white rose has the power over the bachelor. Ooh. Because for the first time, you can ask him on a date. Oh, yes. And the best part is that date can happen whenever you choose. Oh, nice. That's pretty exciting. You can actually go, hold on, look what I got, white rose. Let's go tonight, buddy. This is an extraordinary power never before seen on The Bachelor. So if you receive it, use it wisely. You could see the dynamic in the room change. Everybody wants it, everyone's eyeing it off. It's a bit of added pressure now. We've got something to compete for. It's the white rose, it's just not a normal red rose. I want the white rose. You'd be crazy not to want the white rose. Now, you've waited long enough. It gives me great pleasure to introduce your bachelor, yeah. Sam. Yeah. Hello, girls. Wow, it's even more intimidating seeing you all in one place. <laughs> I've got to go. No. Uh, no. I just wanted to uh, say I'm so, so pleased that every one of you has chosen to come. I'm excited and I hope that uh, you're all here for the same reasons that I am, and that is to get to know someone very, very special and to find love. Yes. Cheers. 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 I think he impressed everyone again by how well he spoke and how well he captivated everyone's attention, and I think it was game on then. So how, how well are you all getting on? You don't have to say that. As soon as Sam came in, he was really engaging and I just wanted to have a conversation with really everyone. Do you remember everyone's names? I know your name's Jasmine. Oh, <laughs> Sam just seems very genuine, like very down to earth. And obviously he's, uh, you know, he's not a bad, bad looker either, so that always helps. Am I allowed to interrupt? Hot topic of conversation. Oh, really? Oh, I had a jazz talking about you. This is such a unique, crazy situation. One guy cruising around a mansion, 19 beautiful women, champagne flowing. Cheers. Cheers, ladies. Candles everywhere. 
I mean, this is not your standard Friday night. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, she's been a dress. Oh, where did you do that? There's oh candles everywhere in this mansion. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm going to get up and I'm going to head over that way because that's where I think he is. I'm going to need a few more champagnes before I chat Yeah, that's what I said. With so many beautiful and intriguing women in the mansion, it's really hard to work out who to take for that first real conversation. right place at the right time and I just see an opening and I'll jump at it you know like you just play touch football and you see a little opening you're gonna go for it oh he's with Jacinda she got him <laughs> <laughs> she's so loud Jacinda really took me by surprise and changed things up I thought I was the one to make the approach <laughs> cheers. You really? cheers. We got cheers. Our you know she's definitely gonna be a handful hurricane that's my oh, little my nickname God. for you. And you've come through, <laughs> hurricane, left me just dishevelled, taking photos of my bum. I oh, know! Those photos are going to be everywhere. <laughs> you just... weren't ready for it. What do you reckon chemistry-wise between these two? I don't think that there's chemistry. Jacinda got up and actually stalked him to go and get him. I've just got a lot of energy. I know. And I like to have fun. I personally think she was sitting too far away. Like, she's like, oh, hello, there's a whole other country in the middle between, like... No, <laughs> Look at you, you hyenas! <laughs> hyenas! There was a part of me that was like, I've got to let him know, because I am... That I'm not... All this, Always all the time. Always just yeah. this yeah. crazy. Yeah. I mean, I in what that, kind that of is ratio me. are we talking? Are we ninety percent hurricane, ten percent, ten percent softer side? Would that be a fair approach? No, I'd say 50 50. Oh, I, I don't think so. Okay, <laughs> I just love that kind of energy. You know, that energy is contagious, and yeah, I really think we could have some chemistry. Nailed it. What do we think of the girls? Who do you think you won't get along with? I've had a chat with pretty much everyone and I get along with everyone quite well. Yeah, I really like everybody. Yeah. Oh, stop being so nice. <laughs> everybody was having a good time and then Sandra starts talking about other girls in a negative light. What's her name? I think it's Zilda. Like, she was just, she was very cold and she, like, turned her back towards me and I was just like, oh, well, that's like that hostility that I don't really appreciate. What about you, Rochelle? I already said I like everybody in here. OK, Miss Goody Tissues over here. <laughs> I would call that a fan sitter. If you don't gossip, then you're clearly, like, not a woman. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't like gossiping about other people. I'm just like perfect and I only say good things about people. <laughs> it's the first night. Why wouldn't I like everybody? <laughs> okay, Rochelle. What started as a bit of a joke turned into something quite serious and it was a bit of a clash of personalities. I love everybody. I do I'm like everybody. So if I had a problem with somebody, I would go up to them and tell them I had a problem. But it's with not them. a problem. We're just meeting for the first time or we're having a girly conversation. I don't like gossip. If you've got nothing good to say, don't say anything at all. I'm just going to be straight out with you. Like, mm. this is who I am. If you don't like it, I'm sorry, but, mm. you know, like, just deal with it. Awkward. We just all sat there and... Mm. Really uncomfortable situation to be in. Hey. Hey. Has anyone got him in sight? There he is. Ooh, wow. <laughs> How are we, ladies? Oh, hi. Are you good? Oh, this is painful. Wait in. The second Sam comes in the vicinity, of course, everyone just hones on in. And then you're sort of peering around corners and through windows looking to see what's going on. It's a lot of people to meet all at once. It is. Tonight at the cocktail party, I have a few roses to give out, including one very special white rose. Whoever gets the white rose gets to ask me out on a date. Like, I feel like we need some binoculars. <laughs> it would make Get stalking so much easier. So do you think that you're going to go and approach Sam and you're not going to approach? Mm -mm. A lot of the girls this evening are hoping that he'll come up to them and they weren't wanting to approach, which is kind of my game plan as well. I 
love the idea of the guy that I'm meant to be with. To want to come to you. Me. Oh, I yeah. love that, babe. Yeah. That's really nice. I'm a huge believer in kind of the whole fate thing, and it was actually really creepy because one minute I'm standing there talking to Tess about, you know, oh, I'm not going to go looking for Batchy. Batchy's going to come to me. And then the next thing you know, hi. Oh, hi. How are you? How are you? Good. Hello. Good. He comes over and says. Nice to you, eh? And then he's come up and he's like, grabbed, he's done the, the, you know, the, with the, around the, and I was like, oh, touching me. <laughs> Went a bit girly. Have fun. Heather surprised me. She's already said a lot of things that have made me want to want to find out more about her. I am extremely flattered, actually, that you have chosen to talk to me. Why wouldn't I want to talk to you? Oh, I don't know. The dude comment. She's already put her foot in her mouth, and I love that. And I think you said I was beautiful. Yeah. No, I think I said pretty, actually. Pretty, that's worse. Yeah, that's actually that, worse than beautiful. Is that... No boy wants to be pretty. I think you're pretty aware that you're ruggedly handsome. I don't think I'm ruggedly handsome at all. I'm baby face, wishy shaved more. No way. Yeah. I, no. I, I literally did not go through puberty until I was about 25 years old. Oh, that's beautiful. You saw photos of me yeah. when I was... When I, when I left year 12, yeah. I was the same height and... 30 kilos lighter, had braces That's and really hot. buck teeth on wow. 45 degrees with a Good. gap in the middle that you Good. could fit a $2 coin no in. No way. Yeah. Oh my God, that's yeah. beautiful. I'm not saying I'm. You're killing it. I'm not saying I'm perfect now or anything, oh. but uh, yeah, there's been some drastic improvements. Yeah, actually. right. No, I'm feeling yeah. that. I'm yeah. definitely feeling that. Well, if it's any consolation, I grew into my head. Oh. It was a, yeah, it was abnormally large. Okay. And I used to get called lollipop because my body was quite thin. <laughs> <laughs> Our conversation is flowing so easily. It's actually ridiculous. And <laughs> I can't get over how I know, much I can just be up. myself around this guy. And all of a sudden, out comes the superhero banter. I love Wonder Woman, right? Yeah, she's good. She's, she's a goodie. She's hot. She's a goodie. Mm. Even her, like, accessories are weapons. They yeah. look quite cosy, actually. I'm a, I'm a superhero nut. Yeah. Yes. We're, we're similar. I mean, very general, good. Similar, similar era. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you remember He-Man? He was great. I just, I vaguely remember the cartoons, but yeah. I just remember his arms were always like that. Didn't really get the chance to mention that I used to make He-Man and Barbie make out. That's cool. He can be He-Man. I'll be Barbie. Would I be allowed to go on a date with you where we both dress up as superheroes? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think... Is that a possibility? I think it's a po uh, Anything on this adventure is a possibility. And the fact that he is into the same things that I'm into is just, like... ..beautiful. I'm gonna let you get back to the girls. Thank you so much. Pleasure. I'm really excited about where that could possibly go now. Tell us, yeah. What did you talk about? He's the kind of guy that you could be friends with. Friends. Friends? And you know what? If it's more than that, sweet. Let's get a pizza, talk stuff, <laughs> maybe make out a little bit. <laughs> I've already said to a couple of other girls tonight, I do feel that friendship thing there, and they're taking that as, oh, she's been friend-zoned. That's not the point. Sometimes being in that zone is actually more dangerous than being in the lover zone. So much more dangerous, because it's real. Oh, he's with Rochelle. I can talk about the Rochelle situation. Yeah, what happened there? I wasn't even there, so I have no idea what you guys are talking about. OK, cool. Well, she basically just made me out to be, like, really bitchy. <laughs> <laughs> and just bit my head off. And I think she made... She's trying to make me look like the bad guy. Rochelle seems like a sweetheart. I don't think she could hurt a fly. And she was like, you're just a troublemaker and you're backstabbing and, like, you're the gossip queen. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't imagine that, though. From her. She like, seems so, like, gentle yeah, and, like... Yeah, she does. She seems absolutely She's only been, her. like, what, you know, nice to me. I was there from the very beginning when everything hit the fan. Eh, uh, you're a gossip queen. Eh, uh, you backstab people. Uh. And she did over-dramatise it. She was ripping into me, like, literally ripping into me, like, shoved that knife in my back. We're talking about the same girl, right? Why don't we head back into the party? Okay. All right. Lovely to spend some time with you. It was really nice to spend some time with you too. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't know what was coming, so that's why I was like, holy crap. Yeah. I actually said to Sandra, I go, babe, maybe you should you should go speak to her. When you're I'm ready and yeah. when you feel OK to do it, I think that you should have a chat with her. I'm actually going to be really honest with Rochelle. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Let's just confront the situation and get over it. Hi, ladies. 
Hey, guys, this is a really good time. Everyone could just, like, if I could just get everyone's attention for yeah. one second. Guys, yeah. there, there, there's something going on over there. So I know it's been a really long night, and I know that, like, a few things have gone on. But I would like to address this with everybody, just because Rochelle and I have faced some, you know, bumps along the road. I think clearing the air is always really a good thing. I'm going to be the bigger person. Would you like to talk to me first? Would no, I just basically want to say I'm OK. Well, now. I'd actually really <laughs> like to talk to you about and that's it. That's fine, that's you. fine. I just wanted to cover it with everybody else. Instead of pulling me away to talk about it, she kind of wanted to share with the group, I guess, her version of what happened. So that everyone knows, we were talking about first impressions. Who do you think is going to take a little bit more effort to get to know one another? Then Rochelle started firing at me that I'm going to obviously cause controversy, I'm backstabbing people and I love gossip. Sandra is an attention seeker, she loves drama and I just wish Sam could see it. I'm, I'm in paradise, this is fun. How fun is it? It's so much fun. So good. You put me out there as this terrible person and I'm not. Every girl is unique. I wear my heart on my sleeve. Beautiful. I make people laugh. And there's a lot more below the surface. That's who I am. On the outside, I am Sandra, the crazy, funny... Who says bad things about other people? No, I don't. That's the thing. I don't. I would never say anything bad about anybody. You I don't have to discuss this and prove to you or anybody here. The drama dial has been turned up tonight, but things got a little bit hectic. Doll, yeah, I think what's happened is... I think, no, no, I'm, well, you're not. You're really upset. I'm fine. I have to say, eating my popcorn tonight, watching everything unfold, <laughs> was a little uncomfortable, it was a little bit awkward. So now let's listen to Rochelle's side of the story. OK, so on my behalf, it didn't sound like that at all. You really had no input in that conversation, let's be honest. And I turned to you and I asked you... Can I please finish what I'm... Just listen, I asked you and I called you a fence because you said, I like everybody, that's just me, no, I like everybody. Please. Can you oh, let her okay, speak? Go. Please let go. her speak. You're not letting her talk. Okay, it's offensive. Talk. Let her speak. All right, go talk. Just chill. You were kind of coercing the women into talking about all of the yeah, other women. Yeah, see, that's, that's just something, obviously, we need to talk about somewhere else. So I was there, I remember it, and unfortunately, I'm just going to end it there because this is just getting nowhere. I'm just going to quit there. I just wanted to acknowledge, you know, and just make the presence of, to everyone else. But apart from that, I'm OK, and Sans is back. I'm just the bigger person, so I'm just going to walk away and forgive, but I definitely won't forget. So how's about that drinking? Yes, cheers. Can one down, please? Cheers. Cheers, cheers man. Woo! I think it was very immature, and it just kind of proves that she's really just not a very nice person. Everyone was, like, coming to my face, like, what have you done, what have you done, and I just couldn't deal with it. Like, it was just too much. You got beautiful eyes. Thank you. Yeah. Sam is gorgeous, very attractive man, but it's going to take a lot more than just good looks to make my heart go ba boom. So you're having a lovely time. I am. It's I hardly amazing. got to. Uh, I mean, we got. We. I know. Well, I'm I'd sorry. Say we got Do you know what? You know, I can't did. even remember if I asked you what your name was. Because we focused on yours. <laughs> yeah. So I'm quite fond of parmesan. Are you? So, yeah, absolutely. <gasps> Parmigiana, chips you want and a favorite. beer. Really? Yeah. I'm, not, I'm a simple man. You tell me more about you. Look, I love my job. Yeah. Um, work with children. The reason you work with children, do you also have I have children? six children. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, <laughs> Shit. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> no I, I don't right. have kids, but I love you kids. You don't? Yeah. I absolutely love kids. Have you always enjoyed working with children? Yeah. Or... I, can't, yeah. I can't believe I'm not a dad already. Really? He is a lovely guy. And I think there could be something there. Do you want a family? Yeah, I actually already have a daughter. OK. I have a wow. nine-year-old, so I am Oh, a that's mom. messy. Why didn't you mention that before? You didn't ask. No, I yeah. didn't. I didn't. <laughs> no. No, no, I should sure. I just, yeah. A nine-year-old daughter. What's her name? I have a nine-year-old, Eve. What a beautiful name. Yeah. OK, so... you're a mum. It was a massive twist with her that I definitely didn't see coming. And... I perhaps naively hadn't even considered that one of the girls could have a child. I think the gravity of that probably took a couple of minutes to sink in. So the father of Eve, if you don't mind me asking, are you guys still 
We talk when okay. we, yeah, we, we communicate. Does Eve live with you full yeah. time? Yeah, she's with me full time. This yeah. is actually the first time I've ever left her, ever. Of course, I hadn't ever. even thought I've of that. Never, wow. yeah, that um, really not even for a day. I've never even left her for a day. So it's been very, it's been a very new experience. Yeah. <laughs> I've been a bit, you know. <gasps> she's she almost old okay. enough to say, you know what, Mum, go get it. She did. Yeah. That, that's why I'm here. She actually yep. said to me, Mummy, you need to go on The Bachelor. Mummy, you need, I want you to go on The Bachelor. How so that's that? what kind of prompted me to apply. I wasn't sure if I was going to tell him that I did have yeah, okay. Okay. a daughter. It takes a strong person mentally and emotionally to be able to deal with that. Cheers and to my that. Daughter. Cheers to children. Cheers to children. Yeah, yeah. that's beautiful. His, his reaction was everything that, you know, a girl could want, so. Thank you. This evening, there's been a word that's been getting around. Anal glands. <laughs> anal glands. For me, talking about anal glands is actually completely normal. <laughs> Look, it is, though. This is my everyday thing that There's I do. Job. It kind of has filtered through the entire night. Every conversation you can possibly have seems to turn back to... Anal glands, anal glands, anal glands. Um, anal glands, anal glands. Anyway. Probably talking about anal glands on the first meeting. If I could go back and rewind things, I probably wouldn't have done it. Seriously, I might like verbal diarrhea. Like, can I just stop talking? <laughs> anal glands. Out of all of the things she could have spoken to him about. Hi, I'm a vet and I play with puppies. Hi, I have cute kittens. No, hi, I'm a vet and I play with anal glands. It's just following her around like a bad smell, I guess. He's really lovely, had good banter. He's someone that I want to keep on having a chat with. I've had a bit of a chat with Sam and I probably don't feel entirely comfortable with the chat because I don't feel comfortable in what I'm wearing. It's probably not something I'd usually wear. I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone, but in saying that I'm out of my comfort zone completely anyway. When it comes to who I'm gonna give the roses to tonight, it's not about it's not about the dress that they're wearing, it's not about their hair, it's not about their makeup, it's about the connection. Hello. Hi, how Hi. are you? Would you like to go and have a little chat? I'd love to. Thank you. Am I like kryptonite? To me, that connection can be how natural the conversation flows. I feel like I'm on the right path in terms of career and family and friends and things, and the only thing that's sort of missing is that romance. How much they make me laugh. Well, I'm sort of like the event manager psycho. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a combination of things, and I just, I think it's one of those things when you know, you know. We have to make a move. I'm not confident enough to go over. Not when he's had a chat with so many gorgeous women. Out of all the girls, I feel like I am the most reserved. I don't have that confidence that a lot of the older women have. I have to show you this move. I don't know if now is the right time, but no, I Now do. is the right time. Really? Yeah. Oh my God, what is she doing? OK, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is she doing? Oh, I actually think he's, yeah, he's keen. OK, and then you go down. Yep. Gradually, and then lift it up. And then up, yeah. Yep. And then go, go back up. again. Yep. They're doing yeah. yoga on the grass. This is getting real weird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yoga in a pool gown. Okay, we step forward. <laughs> yeah, ripping the pants. Okay, then like pretend you're bringing up an arrow, so just Ooh. really bring it up like this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. like that, and then yeah. bring it into Warrior yeah. 2. Sarah, she's not afraid to have fun and be a bit silly. And you're sort of doing... <laughs> and doesn't take herself too seriously and she laughs at herself. Oh. Sort of circular, circular. So, am I not uh, doing this Yeah, well? yeah, you know. Okay. <laughs> and I think the last thing I'm looking for is a girl that takes herself too seriously. They're very, very, very close. Yeah. One of you guys need to yeah. make your move. I absolutely would love to spend more time with you. You know, there's certain girls that you form a you form a connection with, I guess, quicker than others, and I definitely think that we've done that. Yeah. So uh, on that note, I might get you just wait here. I'll be one second. Oh my God, he's going to get her a rose. He's going to get her a rose. He's going to get a rose. He's doing it. This is it. This is the moment. It's a red rose. It's a red rose. Well, we suck. <laughs> <laughs> to me, Sarah has been herself the whole time. <laughs> Don't be shy. It was a really easy decision. She's definitely someone that I want to spend more time with. So on that note, oh as I've loved the very limited time that we spent together and I don't want that to end, no. 
I was wondering if you'd accept this rose. I'd love to accept this rose. Thank you, Sam. Mm. I didn't think that I would be the first one. It's okay. It's all right. And I'm actually really, really excited to see what holds in the future for us. So, yeah, I'm absolutely stoked. <laughs> it's beautiful. It plays on my mind a lot as to why. I think it all became very real when Sam gave Sarah the first red rose. People are starting to get desperate. No, I hate this, I hate this. Yeah. Like, I thought I could cope with this experience, but I actually can't. Reeking of desperation. Take a deep breath. I don't know why Sam hasn't come and spoke to me yet. Did I not do enough on the red carpet? Was it, you know, I, I wasn't enough. So I am feeling very nervous. So ladies, I've got to ask this. When are you going to go talk to him? I'll give him some time. I'm just trying to find my feet a little bit, but I, I'm really nervous. Do you know what? We're only here for one night. You can't sit back and go, well, I'll just wait till he comes to me. I'll just, I'm just going to look gorgeous here. Oh, come to the balcony. Is he coming? Any minute now. Hang on, what's going on over there? You can't do that. This is tough times. It's a war out there. you got to get in. Go out there. Go on. No, no, no. Oh, no. We just saw him out there, so we came up here so he might see us, and then he oh. didn't see us, he went inside. He's not going to bite ya. Just get out there, lady. Everybody's starting to get a bit antsy and worried and starting to make plans before the night is over. I'm thinking of just doing it. OK. And what do you want from me? What do you I want you to tell me if it's a good idea or not. Should I do it? Dude, I can't, I can't tell you whether or not you can do something like that. I mean, doing yoga in the middle of the lawn, if that's what gets you a rose, oh, the white rose, it's still in place, so I'm going to have to go do something that Sam won't forget. Oh, God, I'm so excited. Hello. How are you going? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. You good? So how's the night going? It's fantastic. Lots of beautiful women with fantastic <laughs> stories and great personalities. Yes, you did. I so did. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Tess. I'm not wearing that again. Tess is a lumberjack. When I came out, it was hilarious. The girls loved it. Hey, girls. Tess came out and revealed her new outfit. She was dressed in, you know, some jeans, singlet, a bit of a flanny tied around the waist. And I mean, she completely stood out like a bit of a sore thumb. Are you going to go show your stand? Yeah, I'm so having a chat. If it was Tessa's intention to stand out, she she nailed it. Look, I'll go say something and then you can come and interrupt me. <laughs> I um, do have a couple of questions for you. Go. Anything, um, anything you want to know. Hola, hombres. Hello. Hello. What up? Got changed. Oh, yeah. What is going on? That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, he already had a chat to Tess. Two things went through my head. Why is she cutting in on me? And why is she in casual clothing? She's got a Timberlands on. She's ready oh, to just. I don't glitz. I don't so glitz. I'm not really a glitz guy. You're not a glitz guy. No. Well, that makes me feel better. Look at him. He loves it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we're all dressed wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should all go change. Yeah, guys love a girl in casual clothes. Honestly, I think it might even improve her chances of getting a rose. Yeah. Now I've got my yeah, casual yeah, approach yeah. back I on. I can really just <laughs> let the room. I just sat there just feeling like I'd been totally ambushed on my one-on-one -on -one with Sam. And I was just trying to process what had just happened. And next minute... Hello! Yeah. We just thought we'd bring the party oh, the over here now. To us. Yeah. Everyone's just literally bombarded him now. Yeah. How many girls? Oh, my God. I had one get pressure. I felt incredibly betrayed. I just had to get away. Do you need anything? No, I'm good. Are you good? I got interrupted by about six girls, so it was oh, great. No. I feel like I've just witnessed some of the most amazing things tonight, <laughs> from like cray crayness <laughs> to like, I don't know, I feel like there's been a stabbing. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you? I was absolutely over the moon when Sam approached me. Apparently, good things come to those who wait. That's what they say. That's what they say. Let's see if that's true, eh? Hey? Oh, here we go. Sandra is getting her one on one. 
when I first met you, your energy blew me away. Yeah, and that's me, and that's like entertaining Sandy, you know, that's how I get away, the nerves. Okay, so which Sandy is this? This is softer Sandy, is it? <laughs> yeah. We've got entertaining Sandy and softer Sandy. Yeah. That's okay. How come there's no boy? It's, it's really hard. I'm just a bit shy. Did you hear that? So I wouldn't pick that. I can't yeah. believe Sandra's saying that she's shy. I know. Really? She's so not shy. I'm timid when it comes to guys. OK. Sandra's acting all shy and sweet and innocent around Sam, and she's completely pulling the wool over his eyes. It's so bizarre. I'm so sorry. No, you're allowed. That's, look, you don't have to be all guns blazing 24-7. How would you take it if Sandra got the white rose? Yeah. Anything's possible. I mean, we could, yeah, the, the sky could blow up. How do we think the white rose is going to go out? Do we think he's going to wait until the rose ceremony and just leave it sitting there? All we're doing while Sam's having all these one-on-ones with everyone is sitting around and speculating. Or is it going to be one of the girls he's not yeah, spoken to? I think we're now at a stage where time's running out a little bit. We all know that this, you know, the ceremony's coming up quite quickly. And I think the girls, that I haven't spoken to him are obviously really keen to do so. I actually set myself a light earlier in here. My dress caught on fire just there. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah. So the white rose is still sitting on that table in there and all of us girls are kind of wondering what is happening. Thank you. It's OK. I think it would mean so much to get the white rose. When I plan a date for someone, I would do something really thoughtful, something that would just suit us perfectly. It's almost the end of the night. I've met some incredible women. I'm getting on fantastically well with everybody. Everyone's just beautiful. But one has really stood out to me. I think it's Heather. Oh, I love her. <laughs> I think it's you, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it could be Schnez, I reckon. Yeah. I, reckon it could. I want her to know she has made a big impression on me. Where's he gone? I don't know. We, we're not actually sure where he's gone. Where is he? Where is he? All of a sudden, we see Sam appear holding the white rose. How are we? Good. How are you? All eyes are on that rose. Oh, it's not us. Oh. I've got goosebumps. Oh my gosh, who is going to get that white rose? Everyone naturally wants the white rose. Hello. How are we? Good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Good. Can I steal you for a second? Yes. Why? Very strange. Oh yeah. To be honest, everyone's just <laughs> stunned. It's because I called you dude, isn't it? No, oh, had me a dude. Eh? <laughs> Heather and I definitely have chemistry. Can you actually feel my hand shaking in your hand right now? OK, good. I can. Good, I'm glad we're sharing in that together. <laughs> I feel like she's someone that I've known for a while already. She's smart, she's funny, she's incredibly beautiful, and I can already see the start of connection there. Since I met you, mm -hmm. which was only you know, a few short hours ago, I can't believe you know, how easy you are to talk to. And you know, I think when from the moment you walked around the corner, I obviously thought you were incredibly beautiful and I loved the dress, but I don't really care about that. What I really care about is just how fun you are. And as you know, this rose now lets you plan a date for us. <laughs> so whether it be superhero or whether it be any other direction you want to take it in, that excites me. And so I was wondering if you would like to accept this rose, Heather. No, yes. No? Okay, that's all right. I had that going. I actually, I'm 50 50 would have predicted that. Thank you. That's amazing. I don't even know what to say. Your hands are shaking, aren't they? Oh, they are. Don't, yeah. don't draw attention to it. <laughs> wow. I feel like it's kind of a reassurance that I'm doing the right thing and deserving of someone's attention. So, has your brain been ticking? You ready to plan that date? Yeah. And obviously, the date can be at any time, but. Uh, yeah, I'm excited about it. Really? Yeah. A little bit nervous, though? It could yeah. get real. It could get really no, real. No, I want it to get real. That's Dude. what it's... Yeah, absolutely. That's what it's all about. <laughs> OK. OK. Cool. When I make a date, it's always epic. And Sam is a special person, so I'm not going to fall short on this one. Honey! I can see it right with you! Hey, 
Wow. The mood has shifted to one that is a little bit more sombre and laced with fear. I'm so sick in the stomach. Hashtag victory. <laughs> Stop it. I can't even talk. I'm so sorry. I can't even talk. I definitely was shocked to see that Heather got the white rose. It'll probably inflate her ego even more. You didn't get the rose. Psych! <laughs> it might have caught a few people off guard. How does that make everyone feel? Not the best feeling. But honestly, like, I think it's a good thing for me because he obviously likes loud girls. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight has been a I whirlwind. There was a gangster fight. <laughs> Tess changed her clothes. Yeah. It's been amazing. What's gonna happen next? <laughs> Is this Osha? <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> it has certainly been an interesting night. But I'm afraid the cocktail party has now come to an end. If you would please join me for the rose ceremony. I took a big step in telling Sam about my daughter. So going into the rose ceremony, I'm very nervous. Give me that rose. Come on, batch. I don't want to come across overly confident, but I have so much in common with Sam. So I could be going in with a, with a big advantage. Good evening, ladies. Welcome to your first ever rose ceremony. Over the coming weeks, you'll find yourselves gathered here, waiting to find out if Sam will give you one of these. This is going to be insane. There's 19 women all wanting the attention of one man. You've got to make an impression. You've got one night. If you don't, you may be going home. Earlier tonight, Sarah, you received Sam's first ever rose. Congratulations. And of course, the lady that made the biggest impression upon Sam tonight was you, Heather. And now you hold the coveted white rose. At this point, I'm just excited about the fact that he wants me here. And I'm just excited to see what the hell is going to happen next. For the 17 of you that remain, there are 15 roses here. Two of you will leave the mansion tonight. Getting a rose for me tonight, it would make me feel as though this guy's not looking at the dress and not looking at the outside, but he's kind of just gone, hey, this chick's cool. I'm your whole package, but maybe he doesn't want that in a person. Maybe he's just looking for someone else that's more like Rochelle. I wish you all the very best. Here's Sam. In your own time, mate. Just before I, um, I give out the roses, I think the most important thing for me to say is what I'm looking for is someone that can be themselves. That's a really, really important thing to me and throughout this whole adventure, I can make a promise to you all that what you see is what you get and this is me. And uh, if tonight's anything to go by, I think we're, uh, we're in for a hell of a ride. Shnazana. Anna, will you accept this rose? I will, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'd be disappointed if I didn't get a rose. He seems like an amazing person. He seems very down to earth. But I don't know if I'm his type.
all the girls are in these beautiful, amazing gowns that they feel fabulous in, and I'm rocking some Flanny and some Timberlands. This might not be his look. Joni. Joni, will you accept this rose? Beck. Rachel. Thank you. I'm very ballsy, and 99% of the time it works for me. I think it's really hard for him to get to know 19 girls tonight. It's such a short time. There's two girls going home tonight and I do not want to be one of them. We've got one night to make an impression and you've got to stand out. And hopefully I did. Hey, Brew. Hey, Brew, will you accept this rose? I will. When he picks up the rose, I'm watching him, but he scans around and you're like, is he gonna come back to me? And yeah, willing for him to say my name. Nina. And when he doesn't, it's just like, oh, thank you so much. You know, maybe next time. Tess. <laughs> Tess, will you accept this rose? I'd love to, thank you. <laughs> As the roses slowly started to disappear, my heart slowly started sinking because I just kept thinking, that's it, I'm going home. Crystal. You're happy for the girls that are accepting roses, but at the same time, you also want a rose and your name's not getting called out. Jacinda. <laughs> Jacinda. Yes. Will you accept this rose? Yes, I will. Thank you. <laughs> Why a little excited? Sam, you should give me a rose because I'm actually amazing. Madeline. Emily. Jasmine. Every rose that's given out, my heart is sinking a little bit because you're just like, oh, you know, maybe it's not going to be me. All the while, it just seems an eternity just waiting there. Laura. Laura, will you accept this rose? Yes, thank you very much. You never know what Sam's thinking. What about if I'm too extravagant for him? What about if I'm too loud? Rochelle. Michelle, will you accept this rose? Yes, I will. Oh my God, this is it. Like, there's three of us. It could be me. I'd be devastated if I went home, and I'm really, really hoping that I can stay. I have so much love to give, but I need that chance to show that part of me.
Sandra. Oh my God. <laughs> Sandra, will you accept this rose? I thought you never asked. Thank you. <laughs> Zilda, Jessica, you didn't receive a rose. Please take a moment now and say goodbye. I'm so sorry. Thank you. It's sad to go because it could have gone somewhere. It's just what's meant to happen. Lovely to meet you. You too, Zelda. Got some great girls over there. Thank you. Mommy's your girls. I guess we just didn't really get to talk enough, we didn't get enough time together. Whatever is meant to be will be, and so this is it for tonight, unfortunately. Next time, who will be singled out? Everybody here would love a single date. Please. It would be good just to get a one-on-one -on -one weekend. And the winner is... When The Bachelor sets sail... They're holding hands. <laughs> ...on a magnificent first date. I'm with an unbelievable girl in a beautiful city with perfect weather. It's going to be a day to remember. Then... Are you ready for romance? Yes. Rivalries are revealed. I think Heather getting the white rose has definitely made her feel that she's the number one pick at the moment. It's actually fairly coming from Heather. I think she's a little bit fake and she's just not my kind of person. And tensions escalate. It's so hard when there's all these girls yelling around you. Sam, look at me, look at me, Sam, look at me. As the battle for Sam's attention heats up. I don't want to see it. Let's go watch. Yeah, we're going to go watch it. I was like, let's not. Well, YouTube, if you can't get enough Bachelor content, then you need to see more highlights. You'll find them right here. And you can also subscribe to this channel by clicking below.